Hello Yatris, welcome back to Yatri Cloud. I'm Mitha Chohar. So today we are going to connect our website with a custom domain. As you can see here, when I go to the visit website, here is the our domain, our website name dot versal dot app. So this is the by default domain from the versal, and now we are going to connect with our custom domain. As you can see, the key Yatri dot Yatri Cloud dot com. Like that, you can connect with your website with your custom domain. So let's get start with our custom domain. So before going further, let's uh, just go through the last video. If you didn't deploy your application on Versal, so check it out last video. And then we are going to connect with our same application with custom domain. Correct? Now let's start. And before the start, please like and subscribe if you follow this process and if you can success the deployment. Let's start. First, as you can see, this is our dashboard. After the login into the Versal, you have to deploy the application which I showcase it to you right now. So this is a project. Click on it and you just click on the visit. You are able to access the website, right? So what you can do, just go to the setting and inside the domains. Here you need to just add your domain. So click on the add and let's say we have a domain, Yatri Cloud dot com right and inside the production you can select this one and here if you wish to redirect your website from different domain then you can do something as of now keep it as it is no redirection and here select your branch and right now i have a main branch which is stored in the github so code is coming from the github hope you already check it out my last video to understand this concept right now just click on the add domain and here you need to just uh, understand about the www.yatricloud.com which is redirecting into your yatricloud.com so make sure these both are different but connected with each other and here you can see the different different two types of uh, you know uh, process right now recommend to you go with the first one if you have a domain and just click on the add and after this, uh, what you can do, just wait for a few seconds and uh, then you are able to get the records which we are going to add into our particular GoDaddy or Damchip or any hosting. Correct? So you can see, this is a two main domain, right, which we are going to connect with our website. So right now, see, yatricloud.com is already live. So I can't able to, you know, merge it in a same website, correct? But if you have a subdomain, then I will process your proofless demo right now. So I'm going to cancel it as of now. And I'm again doing the process with my subdomain. So cancel it out. Let me, uh, why it's not going to cancel? Let me refresh the page. Click on the add. Yeah, now enter the, your subdomain. Subdomain, that means you are adding your name with your domain. Like that, let's say Kiyatri Versal. This is my domain. Let's say whatever you can keep it as it is dot your domain name. Understood? Your name, whatever you want to give dot your domain, whatever you have. And just click on add domain. Then you can see domain is pending the verification. So what we can do? See, we got the records. TXT tag us right now for the subdomain. If you add a directly domain yatricloud.com, we'll be getting the air reports. Okay. And CNAME also from adding www dot right. Right now, see, I am following the subdomain process. The same as it is, you need to follow this one. After getting the record, just copy this one, txt and parcel one. Let's go to our GoDaddy one. Here is my GoDaddy where my domain is there, yatricloud.com. Click on add new records, choice txt, enter your name and then again what you can do, just enter your value. So this is my value. I'm just copy this one and paste it here 
सो आई एम जस्ट पेज सिक आउट हियर की फिट वन एंड हाफ आवर इट्स ओके क्लिक ऑन दिव एंड विदिन द फाइव सेकेंड्स यू कैन रिफ्रे वन बस लेट मी सो के सेट यू सो आई एम रिफ्रेस इट वन You can try it. Ah, uh, we press this on upper side. Sorry for that. So maybe take time a little bit. Okay, so just wait for a few seconds. Yeah, it's going to change. Correct. As you can see right now, we need to implement a C name records. So next steps, we are going to C name. Enter our C name records. Just go to your browser again. Into your Go Daddy. Add new records. and uh, click on the c name enter your sub domain name which we entered earlier right and here you need to enter the value what we have this one make sure you remove this last dot dot keep it okay just copy this one paste it here and uh, save that's it okay after updating the dns record you back to your versal and again you can refresh this one it will be automatically refreshing your domain right or also you can go with manually so it takes a little bit time to get your ssh also in your https so i will be back after getting the verification from the versal and the godaddy so yeah just wait Okay, so as you can see right now, see already done generating SSH certificate right now. It's under process, right? So it takes time. Your domain is configured now. So let me check once. So here is our by default domain. This is my website. This is my earliest domain. And right now, what I enter kiyatri versal dot yatri cloud dot com so you can see right now my application is live with https kiyatri versal dot yatri cloud dot com so yeah we had done congratulations so it's a very easy as you can see our website is live within the five minutes correct in our custom domain so do it guys and uh, let me know are you able to configure your custom domain or not and see you soon bye bye take care and subscribe now